When we hear the word psychopath, we think of people like Hannibal Lecter or Christian Bale in American Psycho. While we tend to believe that these individuals exist only in movies or in high security prisons, what might surprise you is to realize that they could be walking among us because actually 1% of the population is psychopathic. Also, contrary to popular belief, not all psychopaths are violent criminals, and not all violent criminals are psychopaths. So, do you think you know somebody who might be a psychopath? Or could you be a psychopath and not even know it? Psychopaths are known to have these traits. They're cunning and manipulative. You have beautiful eyes, Mitch. Why don't you come over and use them to watch Netflix? I'll bring pizza, and if you don't come, I'll be sad. They show superficial charm. <sighs> Who wants a slice of pizza and to take some selfies? Silly peasants will do anything for a slice of pizza and some likes on their Instagram. They have a high sense of self-worth. Here's your bill, sir. Do you know who I am? I am not paying, I am famous. They lack feelings of guilt or remorse. My bunny died. Is that, is that a bad thing or what? And they show poor control over their behavior. Do you like it? Mm, it's a little bit salty. Salty, do you have any idea how much work I put into this? Psychopaths' activities are almost always goal-oriented to attain more wealth or status or power, and in some cases, sexual opportunities. This makes sense, as CEOs actually exhibit the highest proportion of psychopathic traits compared to all other careers. Think about it, it would be much easier to push everyone out of the way when climbing the corporate ladder if you were a psychopath. It turns out that psychopaths have a hard time reorganizing and learning from punishments because of the differences in the networks in their brain. We'll use a game to highlight this difference. So in this card game, if you get two cards of the same color, like a red and a red, or black and a black, then you win a prize, like a small little chocolate. We'll show you what we mean. So we each have a deck and we're gonna draw a card and if they match, I win an egg. Oh. Mm, you lose. That's so sad, okay, next. Awesome. Okay, so I want an egg. There you yeah, go. A chocolate egg, not just an egg, not just any old egg. For most people, we understand when we match the cards correctly, we get a reward, and psychopaths understand this as well. But if we changed the game, and now having two of the same color meant that a chocolate would be taken away from you, most of us would register that it was a bad thing now, but psychopaths would actually have a problem with this. Studies show that psychopaths have a harder time reorganizing their brain to understand the rules, take more time to process it all, and overall just lack judgment of how to proceed. This could help explain why psychopaths have such a high reoffending rate, because the punishment vetted doesn't really register in their brain as a punishment. When it comes to psychopaths' inability to empathize, this is also related to deficient brain structures. Psychopaths are seen to have smaller amygdalas with reduced connections in the orbitofrontal cortex of the brain. Since the orbitofrontal cortex relays information to the amygdala, and the amygdala is the control center of our emotions in the brain, it makes sense that psychopaths have the inability to recognize fear and sadness in other people. In a study of 70 psychopaths, they all had damage to the orbitofrontal cortex, although the amount of damage differed from each psychopath. However, it's important to remember that psychopathy is a personality disorder that can only be properly diagnosed by a psychiatrist. So if you know somebody who's incredibly narcissistic, they may not necessarily be a psychopath. Like many other disorders, psychopathy can't be viewed as something that is necessarily black or white. It's actually something that can be viewed as many shades of gray. Get it? Because uh... he's a psychopath. <laughs> so after seeing this, are you a psychopath? Maybe your best friend is psychopath? Let us know! And follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and we'll see you on Saturday for the vlog. Peace! Peace.